Yo, what's up, YouTube? Like always, man, like always. Hope y'all having a good day. Hope y'all in great spirits and in good health. Welcome back to another episode of Trouble in the Yard, baby. Woo! See, last time y'all was with us, we was laying down a fall pre-emergent, getting ready for the fall and winter dormancy, making sure we get the uh, get the grass prepared to go to sleep. But now, spring is upon us, man. You know, spring is about to sprung. <laughs> spring is about to sprung. And uh, we gotta get the grass prepared to wake up. You know what I'm saying? It's been sleep. It's been sleep. We did pretty good. The uh, the fall pre-emergent did his job. As you can see, let me get let me give you a real good representation of what I mean here. See, you see what I'm saying? See my grass pre-emergent. My neighbor no pre-emergent. Now, granted, my neighbor she don't really care about a yard like that. She just want to cut. But me. I like to dominate. Y'all see that dominate line right there? I like to dominate, baby. So that's what pre-emergent does for you. But yeah, my pre-emergent did his job this year, but in spots where water likes to pile up, water runs off, you know, it didn't do so great. So look at this. Y'all see, we did get some weeds here because this is what water likes to pile up right here in this alley and run down that way. So you can see most of the pre some of that pre-emergent washed away and i definitely didn't put any right here i didn't put any up here so you can see pre-emergent does do a job so that's what we got going on today y'all about to lay down first of all we're about to do a pre-scout we're gonna do a pre-scout and then we're gonna do the first and what in my opinion the most important part of lawn care man is pre-emergent you're trying to beat those uh summer weeds beat the summer weeds you know what I'm saying? Give your grass a fighting chance, you know, because the less weeds you have in your yard, the more your grass can take up the water, the nutrients, the fertilizer. It's not competing with weeds. That's why you want to have a, a weed-free lawn, not only because it makes your yard more beautiful, but your grass is not competing with those weeds for all the nutrients it needs to survive and be great and flourish. All right, so that's what we're doing, y'all. We pre-scalping, get it low, cut it even, get it low so we can get that pre-emergent down today, all right? So, uh, let's roll, baby. Let's roll. Trouble in the yard is back in the yard. We ready, baby. 2023 season, here we go. It's time to dominate. You know what I'm saying? Have the best lawn on the block. That's the goal this year, all right? Let's roll, baby. Today for my pre-scalp, I'm just gonna be rolling with, be rolling with level two. Yeah, we're gonna be rolling with level two. And level two is where I usually keep my grass at all year anyway, or try to. For the pre-scout, I'm just gonna do level two. Cause when I come back in April and do my April, May time frame, when I come back in that time, I'm gonna do my full scout. That means taking it all the way to the white meat. But today, I'm just gonna do a pre-scout. And what I like to do, put it on level two. Cause that's why I keep my grass at all year anyway. It's about a Right at about two inches, inch and a half, two inches, where I try to keep my grass at all year anyway. So let's roll, baby. Get ready to mow and throw. We're trouble in the yard, baby. Mm. the domination line though pure domination say hello to my little friend
now, now, now that that that's some high quality uh, 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 weed even. <laughs> all right, all right. So y'all done seen me mow. Now it's time to throw. And my weapon of choice today is let's go pre-emergent herbicide. It's a double O seven Stonewall 0.43 plus fertilizer. Now. I've been scouting this bag, right? And all your uh, all granular products, they will have your spreader settings on the bag. But as y'all can see, I'm rocking the Scots Turf Builder Edge Guard Mini, right? Now, there is no Scots settings on here at all. But just using applied knowledge, the Really, bro? Using applied knowledge, the uh, pre-emergent that I've used in the past, which is from Sunnyland, they've been bought out by Yard Mastery. My spreader settings were always a four, right? So I would come in, dial in to a four, right? Just put it on four, easy peasy. But check this out. I'm used to using the .86, Stonewall .86. And if my math is mathing, that's twice the amount of this .43, right? But my local site one store, where I usually get that Let's Go stuff from, they didn't have any .86. So I got the .43. Same stuff, it's just uh, half the amount. But the difference, the difference between .86 and .43 is not a world killer, right? But let me tell y'all what I'm trying to get at. Since this bag that I have today is half the amount of what I'm usually using, I'm gonna go down just a little bit more, see now. I would usually put it at four, but today I'm gonna rock it up to about a five, right? Hope y'all catching my drift. I'm gonna put it on a higher, uh, a higher setting so I can throw out more product because it's half of what the usual pre-emergent has. The ingredients that it usually has is half this time. So I'm gonna turn up my spreader just a tad bit more so I can throw out more product and help myself get a little bit more coverage. That's just me trying to be smart. I'm not the smartest person in the world. But anyway, I'm just trying to use applied knowledge and try to do this thing the right way, all right? So here we go, y'all. Get ready to throw with trouble in the yard, baby. All right, y'all, like we always do, like I always tell you, make sure you always load your hopper on top of concrete. Don't want to load it on top of the grass, just in case you flip your stuff, spill it. Any little thing can happen, so always load it on the concrete, that way you ain't damaging your grass, all right? Second thing is today, we're working with a herbicide, which is, you know, it's a chemical, harsh chemicals, man. So you don't want to be breathing this stuff in. Put your mask on, man. Cover yourself. Make sure you, you're doing things the right way, all right? Let's roll. All right. And how I apply my pre-emergent or any other granular part up is the same way I cut my grass. Trim pass all the way around the edge. And today I'm just gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. Until we cover the entire yard, y'all. So let's roll. All right, all right. That's a wrap, y'all. That's a wrap. Came and got our pre-scalp done. We laid down our pre-emergent. And uh, only thing we're doing now is just wait, waiting on the grass to wake up, man. Spring coming, grass gonna wake up. Then we're gonna really got we're gonna really get out here and get it done, baby. We're gonna get this yard work done. Today is February 15th, which is kind of like my my date where I wanna put down my uh my first round of pre-emergent. It's February 15th. Then I come back out around April 15th and put down my second layer of pre-emergent. And sometimes that's right when I wanna do my, my scalp, right around that time. It, it just depends on the weather. So February 15th, I put down my first round of pre-emergent. April 15th, that's when I come around and then I do my second round of granular, granular, granular pre-emergent. And I also like to complement it with a spray pre-emergent as well, but we'll get into all that. Today was all about pre-scalping and your first round of pre-emergent. Getting ready for the spring, getting ready for this uh, Bermuda grass to come out of dormancy, right? 
this is the first step and then like i said in my opinion the most important step to having a great yard in the summertime man because you have to get started early it's like man it's like it's like having a summer body you know what I'm saying a summer body is not built in the summer it's built in the winter time you know what I'm saying that's when you pop out in the summertime with sick pack now all that good stuff you that mean you've been grinding all since December you know what I mean same thing with your grass so hope y'all uh hope y'all learned something man hope y'all had fun today like I always say if I didn't fully explain something to you leave me a comment Leave me a comment, dog. I will respond. I promise I do. I respond to every single comment I have, even if it's negative. I still respond. Pre scalp done. Pre emergent is thrown down. And right on time, too, man. It's supposed to rain today. It's supposed to rain later on today. And uh, on into tomorrow. So that's why I want to come on out, get this pre emergent down, so it can get watered in. All right. I ain't about to, I ain't got to water it. Mother Nature going to water it for me. I want to leave y'all with that. Like always, man, like always, hope you had a good day. Hope y'all in great spirits and in good health. And for 2023, I got a saying for y'all. I've been saying it on my Snap. I've been saying it on my like my Instagram and all that stuff, but I'm going to bring it to YouTube. I'm going to bring it to YouTube. This is my saying for 2023, man. You know what I'm saying? You can bet your ass I'm going to cut my grass. All right. Y'all be good out there, baby. Until next time. Uh.